Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Suzanne from Baby Bunting Nursery. I'd like to welcome you on this lovely Friday afternoon with a bright blue sky and high temperatures unfortunately. Not disgusting like last week but still pretty warm. I think it's 31 maximum today which is quite warm and sticky. And it, uh, I think it was Holly who asked me in her last comment whether we have humid weather here, and we really do. On the east coast, it's very, very humid. On the west coast, it's beautiful and dry weather. Sunny and dry, but you don't feel melting like you do over, over on the east coast here. So yes, Holly, it's definitely sticky, sticky weather. So I've come to show you this outfit. It isn't what I intended putting Lottie into. I went looking for something. I had in mind something very simple for her. And I came across this beautiful Sarah Louise dress. And we all know who the queen of Sarah Louise is. It's Suzanne from Suzanne's Babies. And she sent me this dress amongst many other stunning outfits that I have yet to put Lottie into for Christmas, just Christmas just gone, 2017. And when I saw this dress, I thought, I just have to put Lottie into that and show you. So here she is in this absolutely stunning, stunning dress, which is quite a heavy weight. In real life, you probably wouldn't put something this warm on, on a baby in today's weather, but it's um, a beautiful cream background, and it's covered in beautiful different colored roses and some blue flowers and there's bits of green in there too and the, they're smocking around the yoke and a little bit of lace around the neck and a small little lace placket at the front in the centre with two tiny buttons she's got puff sleeves as well and it's just a beautiful beautiful dress I think it's made of now I had this problem when I was describing it when I opened it did I call it Winciet? it's something like that maybe it is Winciet it's a heavyweight cotton, it's beautiful. And I've added some pale, very pale pink leather shoes and little cream ruffle socks to go with it. Oh, and she's got a headband as well. It's a cream lace headband with a pink bow, like sort of a double bow on top. So I just really wanted to show you how adorable she looks like this. Just love her, oh my goodness. I'm nuts about this doll. I'm absolutely nuts about her. But what I am going to do is, because I've been inspired by watching Suzanne's um, video on teddy bears, and so combine that with Holly asking me if I would show the twins again with Lottie, I thought I might um, pause you and come back and show you all three babies together in an outfit, in outfits that I've got in my mind, all worked out. So hopefully it works, and I'll be back in a second. So here we are, back again, with all three babies this time, in their special bear outfits. Now you may think, why are they in bear outfits? We can't tell that they're bear outfits. Well, I know that you can tell from the bonnets that they're bears, because of the little ears and Jaunty little ears that each have a, a bear bonnet on. Jaunty's is a knitted blue one. Lottie has a knitted cream one. And Pippa has a knitted pink one. And they have little round ears. Looks like Pippa's ears aren't going to stand up. There we go. And they're little outfits. Although they're just underwear, they do have bears on them. Let me go. Oh, sorry, everybody. Just kick the tripod. I wonder if I should zoom in so you can see those little bears. They're made out of tiny holes on their little underwear sets. So that Pippa and Jonty have got the sets on that you've seen lots of times before, which is the little T-shirt that buttons up the back and little nappy covers. And Lottie's is is a, a body suit, a sleeveless bodysuit. So let me see about this tricky zooming in thing. I haven't done it for a little while. Let's see how we go. Oh, look at that's going right in on her tummy. Let's see if it will focus. There you go. You see those little bears? So they're just made of little holes so that it's sort of punched into the fabric. I don't know if you call that interlock, but um, yeah, that's what they're wearing and that's why they're bears because they actually have bear outfits on and bear hats 
and behind them, let me zoom out again. Behind them, I've just set up three bears. I have a lot of bears, but these three bears are... Let me just go a tiny bit further out. No, that's it. Okay. The bears are um, special bears. The one on above Jonty's head, this little one here, was a gift from Jen for my birthday, not, not 2017, but 2016. It's an artist bear, what they call an artist bear, so it's designed and made by someone. The little black one in the middle that might be a bit hard for you to see, just there, it was my mum's, and it's just a little steif black bear. It's, um, I don't know how old it is, I'll see if I can bring it closer to the camera so you can get a good look at it. It's quite unusual to have a black bear, isn't it? Let's see. So it's quite small, it's probably only three inches high, and it's all black, it's got a red bow around its neck, and it's got the steif button in the ear, and little brown and black eyes, and a little black, uh, brown stitched nose. And the arms and legs are jointed. So that's the little black bear that's pretty hard to see because it's black. So that's that one. That was my mum's. And then this one is just a little, it's a little replica of a, an original bear. So it's not old. Or, you know, it's probably only, I don't know, maybe 20 years old or something like that. And it's a little steif bear as well. It's got such a cute little face. With, let me just see. Yeah, the eyes are actually brown on the outside and black pupils. You can't really see that black stitched nose. And it's a nice light sort of honey colour. And it's bigger than the black one. So this one might be hmm, six inches. And I didn't say what colour the artist bear is. It's sort of, it's a light colour. It's almost got white mohair. Now you're not going to sit there, are you? There we go. It's almost white mohair. It's very, very light. And he's got a black stitch nose and black eyes. So there you are. There's my three babies to show you all with their feet out. So no one's got covered feet. And they've all got bear bonnets on. And I think they look cute. I just love bonnets on babies. I love the way the, the shape that the baby's face gets when the bonnets are on. I just love them. So cute. And did I say that Lottie's is a cream colour, a knitted cream colour? I might have already said that. And they're probably feeling a bit hot with those bonnets on, so I might take them off. But I might leave them on for the night. So there you are. There's my babies. And that's my contribution to Theme Thursday on a Friday. I know you don't mind if I do it on a Friday. I don't usually do the themes, but it just worked in so well with what I wanted to to put on them anyway, which was just their lovely little underwear sets. So I love them like this, really simple and really sweet. So I have a, a red um, battery light showing, so I probably should say goodbye to you before the camera decides it's going to say goodbye anyway. So thank you very much for coming back, and I hope you liked seeing the before and after of this little girl, my Lottie, in her very elegant Sarah Louise dress at first, and now just in some underwear and dressed as a bear. So thank you very much everyone. I appreciate you so much coming back to see my videos. I really, really enjoy your comments and um, I just like knowing that other people like seeing my dolls because it kind of makes it legitimate, doesn't it? I don't feel so silly loving them and having them if other people like them too. It's very nice to share and seeing as there isn't really anybody in my normal life who's even remotely interested. I mean, I show my kids and they say, oh yeah, they're fabulous mum, and that's about it. I show my friends and they, oh my goodness, they can't believe it, you know, that kind of reaction. But I, I don't know anyone who really loves these reborn dolls like we do. So it's very, very nice to come here and share with you and to see all your beautiful dolls and for you to see my dolls. So thank you everyone for the 29th time. I do this every time I start saying goodbye and then I think of one more thing to say and then another thing to say. And if I didn't have the battery light on, I'd probably just keep yakking. But I won't do that to you. I'll say goodbye now. So take care everyone and be kind to each other. Bye-bye.